Welcome to another episode, Talk Smack with Zig Zag Zag. As always, I'm your host, Zig Zag Zag, aka 3Z, aka Darth Nihilus Mother. But you already know that. And I'm back in action this week again with another episode of Lucha Underground. Love it. Not gonna waste time this week. Dipping straight into it. First match. What do we have here? The Dollar Doom. I love the Dollar Doom. And I think a lot of people, other people do too. <laughs> it usually, uh, usually brings in pretty good results. I like that they mix it up. It's always random. But not really random. But I like what they did this week when Cortez cover is basically blown. So if anybody remembers a few months back, Pentagon Dark broke Cortez's arm and healing ever since. And obviously this dude's an undercover cop and Cisco's dead. Dario killed him. Boom. He's out the picture. So Cortez comes out with his cast on because of course it lands the wheel lands on the boss getting to pick what he wants so he sends him in there to get destroyed it was disgusting i love when matanza pulled on his arm is already broken just ripped it we broke it that's uh that's i'm not gonna forget that that was freaking brutal that was real <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was. For us, it wasn't fake. That would be too much. That was ridiculous. Anyway, so that was awesome. Of course, he, uh, Matanza was on to keep his title. Um, so he'll defend it after being number one. He's going to be number one at Aztec Warfare. Can't wait for that. Second match of the evening, we have. Son of Havoc versus Dr. Wagner. And if. He wins. The Son of Havoc wins. Little B has to come out of his semi-retirement to fight Masquerita. And Masquerita gets to pick what? So, Son of Havoc wins. A much better match than I expected, to be honest. And hits the splash. It's a 450 splash. It gets him. Bada boom, bada bing. It's over. What stipulation? Believers match. Believers backlash match. I think... With the top before, I think they had one of these matches before with Hernandez. That whole escapade was um, with Drago, where they had the whips and whatever they had. I can't remember what they had. They had, people were, they had to believe it was outside the ring with belts or whatever, smacking them. But this time, they said you could bring whatever weapon. So <laughs> I don't know how they're going to work that out. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully, Masquerita can finally pick up his first win. Feel sad for the little guy, you know what I'm saying? Comes into the temple, loses, and he loses, and he loses. And you think he's gonna win, and then he loses. And then he gets the manager, and he loses, and he loses. And his manager turns on him, and he loses. And he loses. So, let's hope the little guy gets a win, finally, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. So, is a I've definitely been enjoying the show so far. We get to the main event, huge match, but we've we'll seen a million times. Chavo Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio Jr. Or not Jr., but Rey Mysterio. And the loser leaves the temple forever. Whatever, you know, forever in wrestling means like a couple weeks. <laughs> we'll see. So, uh, the match started off kind of slow, and I was like, eh, you know, no way I've seen before, whatever. Wasn't bad, but it was a run of the mill, Rey Mysterio and Chavo Guerrero match until it started picking up a little bit, started getting a little better, started getting a little better. So I appreciate the match, started picking up, and <laughs> Chavo Sr. hit Chavo Guerrero with a chair to get him disqualified on purpose so that they would win. Hit his own self the chair, so he went by disqualification. They made the announcement Rey Mysterio is leave Lucha forever. <laughs> Of course, the Hefe comes out like, no, 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 no. Forget how much I love violence. And the ref's like, no, no, sir, I haven't. I haven't forgot. <laughs> so to restart the match, no disqualification, anything goes. Rey Mysterio wins, you know, basically clean. And Chavo has to leave the temple. And after that little break, when they got back in, even though it was still, even though they said it was no disqualification, 
They barely lose a chair at all. Even with that said, the match picked up way better after that. Even that Boston Crab had me on the edge of my seat. It was a good match um, between two greats. It was a great main event. Um, what more can I say? Two thumbs up for the match. Two thumbs up for the show. It's sad to see Chavo go because he was in the very first match. Lucha on the ground. Um, where does he go from here? Why is he leaving? Is it just story? Or is he, does he have something else to do? I'm kind of curious. Um, it's sad to see the temple. With that said, 619 still there. So... Yeah, that I look forward to. I love Rey Mysterio. So, if you haven't been checked out Lucha on the Ground, please, please, please do so. Let's have a conversation. Hit me up on Twitter at Sith Zigzag Zach. That's Zach with the H, Z A C H, at Sith Zigzag Zach. Of course, subscribe here on YouTube at Sith Warfare. I'm oh, sorry, at Sith Warfare, of course, on YouTube. And, well, that's my Facebook. Facebook.com slash Sith Warfare. So, check us out. Leave some comments. SithClan.com. Enough with the shills. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back next Thursday evening with another review of next week's Lucha Underground. Prince Puma versus Memuertes in a no casket match. Graver consequences match. It's going to be insane. It's just like the Undertaker. Memuertes probably going to lose his, his usual match like he always does. <laughs> It'll be awesome nonetheless. So true believers, stay tuned.